This question appeared in NEET PG 2023 and question gives a history that a boys in hostel get infected as hostlers developing polymorphous rashes. So what will be the next step? And your options are isolation for six days, isolation for six days and give acyclovir, isolation for six days and give IV immunoglobulin within 20, 48 hours and no isolation required but give acyclovir. Let's look at this question. So first, what is a polymorphous RAS? Now polymorphous RAS means that RAS that have many different forms. Okay. So it can be tiny bumps or raised areas, blisters, vesicles. So multiple different forms of skin rashes are present. So that is called as a polymorphous RAS. And before we go into the question, let's look at the differential diagnosis. What are the various possible differential diagnosis in general about polymorphous RAS? So the first important differential diagnosis, okay, and this is not just related to this particular, uh, you know, case study, but in general, we are talking about differential diagnosis that should come to your mind whenever you see a patient with polymorphous RAS. So the first is very common allergic contact dermatitis okay because when you are taking a history you will be asking questions which will help you to further narrow down your diagnosis second another very common cause for polymorphic rash is drug reactions okay third differential diagnosis as in this case is viral exanthemas so viral diseases like chicken pox measles rubella uh, even the you know uh, you know the fifth disease all these will present with polymorphous rash also the next important differential diagnosis will be certain connective tissue disorders like you know uh, sle dermatomyositis so even they will have polymorphic rashes you know and again you can have urticaria urticaria again uh, uh, will have polymorphous rashes. Very important differential diagnosis in children presenting with polymorphous rash can be a vasculitis that is Kawasaki disease. Okay. Then you can also have severe drug reactions like Steven uh, Johnson syndrome or toxin epidermal necrolysis. So these again are very very important and then you can have usual uh, fungal infection or parasitic infection okay so these are some of the most important differential diagnosis of your polymorphic rashes now in this case not much has been mentioned but because we can see the various options so we have an idea that uh, the examiner is trying to talk about chickenpox so let's talk about chickenpox so here what happens in chickenpox uh, what is the period of infectivity in chickenpox so period of infectivity generally starts one to two days before rash and you know uh, up, can continue up to five to six days so normally six days isolation is part of the standard protocol for chickenpox is it clear so isolation for six days and uh, generally as a part of standard treatment, we give acyclovir within first 24 hours of appearance of rash. So within first 24 hours, acyclovir, the usual dose is 800 mg, 5 times a day. So this is. Now, what about immunoglobulin? Now, immunoglobulin is not generally used in healthy individual. It is only to be used when there is severe immuno deficiency okay so it is not a part of our standard uh, treatment guidelines but we give it only when there is severe immunoglobulin uh, uh, very severe immunodeficiency so this you know uh, makes the answer as b so not just isolation we will go for an isolation and give a cyclophil uh, immediately within first 24 hours immunoglobulin is not required